Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? And welcome to another episode of MechWarrior Online. Today it is time to show you one of my absolute favorite mechs with one of my absolute favorite builds and therefore we're gonna take the Marauder to see. Marauders are actually quite sexy for me. I really have a sweet spot in my heart for Marauders. The 2C variant is even heavier than the Inner Sphere variant which means it can load more weapon systems and it's a clan mech which means the electronics and all of the stuff in it is just a little bit better. So we're gonna take this beauty to the battlefield as you can see with two ultra auto cannons on the shoulder and we have some energy weapons on the arms for extra damage and this thing is hell of a brawler i really do like it we have two ultra auto cannon tens here which makes it so that we can shoot quite early quite often so we have about 600 meters optimal range which is i would say the the range where most of the engagements happen actually so we can pump out a lot of dps over range and as soon as the enemies are coming closer we have four medium pulse lasers to defend ourselves with or in other words to deal more damage and kill the enemies in front of us. So I want to be aggressive with that guy today and we can because we have a great amount of double heat sinks on the mech that keep us cold so we can pump out those damage points like crazy. The mech is run on an XL engine 325 that gets it to 62 kp kph roundabout. I would say that's just enough. You don't necessarily need more than that. You could of course but again since we have that uh, mid-range ducker on the right shoulder that we can use early on we can take our time getting to the front line and we don't need to rush it really so stick to the team stick to cover and then go in when the time is right we also have a targeting computer here helping us with a bit of zoom and targeting time and of course ballistic velocity and beam range for the lasers so for a build like that it kind of is great because it gives you bonuses for basically everything that you want so take a targeting computer mark one whenever you have room for it in a ballistic slash energy build combination and you have a good time with that let's take a look at the skills before we get into the games here and as you can see we have dumped the right side of the pile firepower tree with skill points and we have magazine capacity one and two as well as enhanced uac jam duration because if we jam then we want the unjam time to be as fast as possible and we take kind of the cut here to get three laser duration points at the very least what i definitely do want is maximum survivability in terms of skeletal density and armor hardening since uh, we want to throw our max at the firing lines of our enemies therefore extra hit points are necessary since we are also, you know, aggressive, we need a bit of cooling. So cool run maxed out helps us keep the mech cold, especially since we have so many double heat sinks that benefit from the cool run because that means heat dissipation bonus of 10% on top of what we have. That's really nice. We also have rated deprivation, 60% of it, as well as one value point in the consumable slot that's filled with a UAV as well as a cool shot, just in case we need it. And that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alrighty, first game of the day. We are playing the Mining Collective and we are playing Domination. Let's get into the center of the map and shoot everybody. That's the plan here. Man, I love the Marauder. I'm a big, big fan of it. So um, I really want to showcase as many Marauder builds as possible. The 2C is a little bit different though. I mean, it's an Assault mech class, but uh, since it has the Clan Tech and the Clan XL engine upgrades, it can still run a decent speed and still bring a lot of firepower. So um, I'm kind of a more in a sphere guy, but you know, it's, just, it's a good Marauder. It's a Marauder. So let's go ahead and play it. Now, where do we go on this map? I think center is good. A lot of people are already going there, except for our King Crab Kaiju, who is kind of stuck in Delta 3, which is really bad for him. I think he's not gonna make it. Uh, there's a Kentaro, a Trebuchet, also both on the left side. Those guys will get set under heavy pressure quite soon. So I wonder what's gonna, you know, uh, happen there on the flank. Uh, Black Lantern is being targeted by missiles, probably from the trap, right? The 7M, maybe. But my goal is to go over here. Is the UAV up already? I'll take it down real quick. Okay. Nope, not uh, like that. Like that. All right, got it. So, Javelin up top. Kodiak in the bottom. We're not taking the ramp, seemingly. But why? There's another UAV. We'll take it real quick. Hmm, not quite. Got it. So, uh, let's get up top, I guess. Let's do it. Echo 5 into Delta 5? Or is there is there people here? Is there people? Yeah, good English me. Let's take top together. I'm gonna bring my mech. I'm not gonna back up. This is where we go. And we have enemies here on the side. Ooh, Timber. Oh boy. He came to the wrong spot, certainly. Medium pulse lasers. And then the ultra auto cannons that are remaining. And we got him. Then there is a friend as well. Hi. Ho, ho, ho. That is beautiful. Yeah, this guy has nowhere to go anymore. He is 
basically dead. Uh, if we hit him properly. Side torso destroyed. Leg almost gone. He is a one shot. Come on, guys. Go in. What are you waiting for? Okay. Got two kills. Little bit of damage on the team. I'm sorry for that. And we're going to wait for that guy to come around the corner as well. Holy crap. We have a very good spot here. That Warhammer needs killing, though. But there's more. There's way more. Got that guy. What? That was an important kill. All right. Hunchy, where's the Warhammer? We need more people here. The hammer is backing up, but now he's backing up into us. Perfect. All right. Let's, uh, let's go over here. I mean, those guys are basically down. Right? Can you get the Warhammer? There's a UAV above us. That's not so good. Okay. I'm going to push that. Uh-huh. So he's down. I think the Warhammer is dead as well. Now we go for the Hunchy and all of the guys that are here. So here's the Hunchback. Uh, let's go for that. Um, I mean, he's still a danger. But that guy is not anymore. So we go for Mr. Direwolf, which is a crazy mech to have here right in front of us. But you know what? I'm not afraid. Maybe I should be. I'm alone. I'm horribly alone. And this guy is wrecking me with the machine guns. I still got all of my weapons. About to lose my side torso. And as soon as we do, we lose all the heat capacity that we have. Anyway, Hanji is lost. Let's go and kill him as well. Holy crap. And we have him. <laughs> That's my sword uh, torso gun. That's okay, guys. I think... We made it. And our aggression to the top actually kind of paid off. That push was so beautiful. And we had a bunch of enemies that happened to be out of position and they the didn't even know it. Didn't need that arm anymore. <laughs> That's okay. So we got a three killing blows. We got five assists, three kill most damage dealt, 750 damage done, 440 taken and 10 components destroyed. That was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty, second game of the day. We are playing the Rubelite Oasis. We are playing Conquest and we are going to Gamma. That's it. Yeah, that thing is really easy to get. So, uh, where are we going afterwards? That's the question here. Um, some people are going to Kappa, which is risky, by the way. Enemies will probably push to Kappa quite quickly. And um, my goal is to probably get up here onto the Delta 5 high ground. Or we can take low ground. But I think I want to go left side. Let, let's go left side, guys. Let's go Echo 5, Delta 5. And uh, have a good time there. Because NASCAR here is really nasty. And uh, I don't want to uh, partake in that. I'd rather set up a nice firing line up here on the high ground. And uh, shoot the enemies that are coming to us bit by bit. That's, I think, a better idea. So, let's see. We have a cheetah yeah, as well as a commander going to Theta. Taking that. We got Kappa, by the way. That's pretty good. Uh, how is our Locust? He's damaged already. So, I do believe there was an encounter there. And it could be that Kappa is being counter-capped in a second. Loco still at 98. Kappa's still there. Alright, so we got the cap advantage. Big time. Enemies have one. We have three. That's beautiful. There's a guy. Can I hit him? Oh, he's in cover even. Haha. <laughs> let's, let's not waste too much ammo here. That's a problem. We're gonna splash that damage. Okay. Yeah, we're out of range there, obviously. So, here we are. We have the benefit of ECM coming from the Shadow Cat. So, that's good. And I want to I wanna peek over here quite quickly, quite aggressively, because I wonder if there are enemies coming up that hill. And if so, they are probably... Oh, yeah, there's something at Kappa. Uh, let's push Kappa. Yeah, 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 there's something. Uh, I'm going to push Delta 6 now. Uh, come on, Shadow Cat, please help me out. Kappa's still being capped. Okay, uh, get that Vapor Eagle, please. Echo. All right, he is critical. Yeah, he cannot go anywhere. All right, um, there is still a lot of damage coming from the other side. Good kill, guys. Keep it up. Uh, enemies are mostly in Echo 7, Echo 6-ish, so take care of that. There they are. Oh, God, we found them. Ah, not good. Let my shots the wrong way. But uh, so far, so good. Battlemaster in the center. Uh, Hotel Battlemaster is almost crit in the center. In the center. Um, oh, no. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. That's, uh, that's too much for me right now. I want to, first of all, take that UAV down. Beautiful. Uh, guys, let's turn around. Echo 5 is hot. Uh-huh. Light mech on me. Artillery strike on me. They have a stealth mech here, right? Yeah, that UAV is down. All right. So, that was important. We're still getting peppered by something. Ow, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ah, he wants to get out of here as well. 
Anyway, Echo 5 it is, guys. We got two kills already. Let's make it all of them. Yeah, that's where we want to be. Absolutely. Can I peek around here? Get you there. Ooh, that shot. That shot, the fire starter was barely hit. Take that arm. He's running heavy gauss. Take hold, Juliet, please. Heavy gauss, Warhammer. Uh, it's too much. Too much of everything. I'm gonna drop here. Actually, we're gonna drop to get that gauss Warhammer down here. Nice. Medium pulse for the win. Now the assault man gets hiding there. It's a Warhammer bludgeon. So let's bludgeon him in the face with our, our oh, elder cannons. Side torso first? Why not? Let's go. So his uh, heat management is crippled. He cannot do anything anymore and we get the kill. Next is that guy. My fire starter is always in front of me. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Goodbye. I think I want that roughneck. At the same time, I want to partake in the fight that's unfolding down there. Let's go. Hi. How are you, buddy? I got a lot of damage, but you got a lot of armor. That's a nice combo. We can technically do that. Huh. Oh, the King Crab wants me? King Crab is half down, though. Um. So, we got him, finally. Now, 8 and 2. The Roughneck needs to get pushed out here, ideally. Oh, no. What was that? From there? Oh, there it is. Hey, Bloodass, how are you? That was the guy who hit me all the time earlier. Like, all the time. Right, Roughneck is still on the high ground. And we still have some more enemies after the Neck and after the Blood Asp. But nobody knows of the Asp, so that thing is mine. There's a Blood Asp in Echo 6, guys. Echo 6, Blood Asp with Ducker. Target. Let's go for him. Okay, let's go up here. My arms are about to fall, which is not great, but okay. Dead Arty Strike. Okay, I'll... I'll take the damage. Ooh, nice back shot. I'll take it. Alright, so far so good. We got him. Nice. So I kind of provoked a lot of friendly fire, I guess. <laughs> that Adi strike. I was running straight towards it. So sorry for the timeout. Uh, I guess. Uh, linebacker over here. Sure. Linebacker might actually come towards our position. Trying to get out of here. But there's a fight unfolding. There it is. Yup. As I was saying. So I guess I lose my left side torso rather than my right side torso. Maybe he's losing his life. Come on, auto cannons. No, <laughs> too late, too late. Last guy is a light mag, seems to be a flea in Echo 5. You know what we're gonna be doing? Actually, we don't need to. Do we need to cap? I don't know if we need to cap. But yeah, you guys got the flea. Maybe the flea is actually trying to get cover. So we're gonna defend that area. It's getting a kill. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, uh, yeah, so if I was the flea, I would run around that area here. Uh, he's in the low ground, right? Under the bridge? Yeah, no, he's coming around. Okay, let's go on an interception path. At the same time, he's about to die and he's still engaged in the fight. Are we gonna stay here? Nope. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, no, maybe? Uh, let's the flea down. All right, we got him. Now, the only thing that we need is Sigma and then we can go home. What a fight here. What a brawl. We took a good chunk of damage. We are down to 30%. Still have most of our weapon systems and a good chunk of ammunition. And that auto cannon is still operable. So that is cool. Operable? Operational? Operational, right? That's what you say. So, Sigma is ours. Let's go. Beautiful game. I mean, I like Robolite Oasis for the multi-level fights that happen here. And I didn't even think of getting that kill on the Warhammer earlier. I thought he was just gone and I'm going for the Warhammer 2C, but hey, here we are. We got one killing blow, three kill most damage dealt with eight assists and 784 damage done, 624 taken and three components destroyed. That, my friends, was your daily dose for today and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel for more of that and I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.